Yes, Virgo, welcome into the Gifted Hermit. I'm going to jump straight into this love reading. Please remember to smash the thumbs button if you find that it resonates with you in any way, okay? Some of you guys, this is the first question I ask in these love readings is who is it that's thinking about you and what's the energy around there? Now, it could be how you're thinking, but um, yeah. Let me just get into it. Nine of Swords, the World Card, Seven of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. So we have Capricorn energy here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and also Taurus and Virgo. You could be or were dealing with one of those signs. Since we last kicked it, and by the way, I just got in town, and I won't let... All right, let me shut up. <laughs> Nine of Swords, anxiety, worry, uh, borderline depression here. Yeah, baby. Whoever it is, they, they, could they could have had you like this, Virgo. They could have had you in this energy of anxiety, worry. Oof. Could be how they're feeling right now. You know. She. I feel like there was some traveling here. There may be some distance between you and your person that's thinking about you. They could live out of town, out of state. And I really feel like you gave your all to this person that's thinking about you. You gave a lot. This could have been a new connection for some of you guys. Okay, somebody new. Perhaps it didn't last very long because we have the Seven of Swords here. So there was some sort of deceit, some sort of betrayal, somebody that was a bit strategic with regards to this connection. But I feel like you gave a lot. There was a lot of opportunity here with you, Virgo. And perhaps this person is worrying about that. Like, damn, I fucked up. Yep. Somebody could have cheated on somebody here. Oof. It's just like, yeah, perhaps your person's realizing that now. And I feel like a lot of Virgos are realizing that you gave your all in this connection. Yeah, you made sacrifices. Perhaps, you know, there was traveling here in some sort of area as well. And um, perhaps this person wants a, a new beginning. But I would personally say run. Run, Virgo. Don't even give it no time, no energy. Who is it that wants Virgo? Now, you may find that I'm talking about one particular person with these questions or multiple people. Only you would know. Who is it that wants Virgo? Three of Cups could be a friend that wants you. Perhaps maybe they just want his friendship. The Three of Cups can also talk about... There's three people here, yeah? Two is a company, three is a crowd. Whoever is that wants you is spying on you. Perhaps they're wondering what you're up to. Are you having fun? Is Virgo having fun without me? Whoever is that wants you, there's a lot of analysis paralysis here with the Page of Swords. Okay. Perhaps this person, there was a soul contract here. There was something that needed to be learned. Mm-hmm. You can talk about communication. The person that wants you, perhaps they want to communicate with you. Maybe something's stopping them because I feel like there's silence here. There's not much talking here. I feel like the person that wants you may want to cooperate with you. Perhaps you've done a lot of cooperation with them. You tried to cooperate with them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Give me another card with regards to who is it that wants Virgo. But there's restless energy here. Seven of Cups. There's other people. It just feels a bit wishy-washy. It's a bit there's some sort of confusion here. Perhaps the person that wants you, they confused you. They they got you into that mindset of overthinking. Perhaps they they made the wrong choice. The person that that wants you, perhaps they're just in interested in friends with benefits. Perhaps they just wanted to enjoy life and not have anything serious. Perhaps they're thinking, shit, I made the wrong choice. There was a lot of wishful thinking here. Yep. Yeah. So it could be that you got your hopes up with somebody here, Virgo. Maybe they got their hopes up with you. Who knows? Only you would know, Virgo. But somebody be spying on somebody here, wondering what somebody's up to, wondering if there's other people involved. And for some of you guys, there definitely was other people involved. You know, I ain't nobody's option. Are you somebody's option, Virgo? Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit, mate. I ain't got time for it. 
We'll clarify, I suppose. Let's talk about who's it that truly loves Virgo. It could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio for some of you guys or the person that wants you. It could be Libra Gemini Aquarius. They could have them in their chart. Okay. But I feel like there's not much talking here. There's more watching, wondering, thinking. And there's other people involved. That's what it feels like. There's outside influence. Who is it that truly loves Virgo? Who is it that truly loves Virgo? Who truly loves Virgo? It could be an earth sign. It could be a Libra. It could be a fire sign also. Okay. Whoever it is that truly loves you, I just feel like somebody is very much of a worker here. They work hard, they work hard, they work a lot. Now, this could be a karmic situation. Perhaps lessons were learnt here. Okay, something to do with legalities. I think I said that right. But I feel like there's a lot of passion here. There's lessons being learnt here with regards to the person that loves you. Okay. Mm-hmm. With regards to the person that loves you, I feel like there's a balance. They're like in two worlds, yeah? They want adventure, they want passion, they want to enjoy life, and then also they want to work hard. Yep, perhaps they couldn't find that balance. I feel like some of you guys were, with regards to the person that loves you, dealing with somebody that is quite opinionated, quite boisterous, quite controlling for some of you guys as well. That's not going to resonate with everybody. Right. Let's talk about the Nine of Swords with regards to the person that is thinking about Virgo. Why is the Nine of Swords here? The, the Knight of Swords in the reverse position. Why is the Nine of Swords here for the person thinking about Virgo? Five of Cups in the reverse position. Why is <laughs> Six of Four? You made this person feel good. You made them feel good, baby. Bottom of the deck, four of cups. They're bored. They're frustrated. You know, Virgo made me feel good, man. Five of cups in the reverse position talks about someone that finds it difficult to let go. Let go of past trauma and that's nothing to do with you, Virgo. That's their issue. Crying over spilt milk type of energy. They, they've they got... um. A lot of shadow work that they need to deal with. A lot of healing. Yeah? Their old stories, let them become part of them. So, for example, this person could have had their guard up from the get-go because of past traumas. And that affected this connection. Okay? Like, I feel like somebody's feeling a bit jaded here. This person was unable or is unable to let go of past situations. They, they bring that into their new connections and then it fucks shit up. Yeah, their energy is very unscattered, uh, very scattered. It's very impatient. They, they, they're not thinking logically. They feel frustrated. There's a lot of frustration here. And to be fair, the, the Knight of Swords in the reverse position is somebody that is hard edged and emotionally unavailable, and not only emotionally unavailable but unpredictable. Like, they could say one thing and do another. You don't know if you're coming and going. Like, where is this connection going? What do I do here? And I really feel like you lifted them up. And they're frustrated with that. They're frustrated that they're probably not going to get that with anybody else. You inspired them. They're frustrated that you inspire them. They'll be there scratching their head. Yeah. Share that beat of love. I want to. Oh, Let is, um, wow, four of wands wanted to come out there. So that feels like you, I feel like you just made them happy. You were secure. They knew what they were getting with you. Yeah. You, you've got strong foundations. I mean, some of you guys, this could be a twin flame reading. Why is the seven of cups here with regards to the person that wants Virgo? You know, you guys could have been dealing with a manipulator. Somebody, again, we have the Nine of Swords here. Why is the Seven of Cups here? The Moon cards. Fear. Fear stops them from... They manifested you. And then fear stops them from penetrating forward, progressing with you. 
Okay. Perhaps some of you guys were dealing with a Gemini or dealing with a, a Virgo or dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I just feel like this person has a lot of anxieties, a lot of overthinking here, a lot of worry here. Fear stops the momentum. Secrets, wishy-washy energy, stuff going on in the dark, stuff going on in the subconscious. They manifested you, but when they got you, they just didn't know, they didn't know what, how to deal with you, how to cope with something so intense, something so real. Seven of Swords jumped out again. So on default, what did they go and do? They go and do some bullshit to make them, to validate themselves. But in turn, it all comes crashing down, you know, and then they start to realize like, oh, I fucked up. Ace of Swords, like the truth has not been revealed. They haven't spoke up. Why is the justice card here? We've got the eight of pentacles again. This person works hard with regards to the person that loves you. And there's an energy of, with the hanging man here. The hanging man talks about Pisces energy. It's like, I'm just going to work, fuck it. You know, they'll probably justify why things didn't work out in their own head. They keep busy to stay out of their head, you know. You also have the nine of wands in the reverse position. So this is somebody that is trapped by their own boundaries. This is somebody that feels like they've given up. I'm just going to give up. They'll find justifications and... They need to let go of old battles, stuff that doesn't serve them. They need to open up. They need to trust people. They find it very difficult to trust people. Yep. They need to follow through what they flipping and started. They need to finish what they started. How are you going to do that to Virgo? It's unfinished business here. So whether this person is going to come forward or not, I, you know, I, there's a question mark above that Virgo. But we're dealing with somebody that's got a lot of healing to do, a lot of stuff that they need to work on for themselves. Maybe they will come back one day. Maybe they will come to their senses. It's not your issue. Yep. <sighs> it is what it is, Virgo. Please remember to smash the thumbs button if you find that it resonated with you in any way. I friggin' love you guys. I appreciate you so very much. You can book me for a personal. Follow me on the socials. Catch me for live tarot. But for now, the gifted is out of here. Be kind to others. But most importantly, be kind to you as you should. And I'll catch you on the rebound. Mwah.